No, the answer is no. So is it something that I'm going to be investing in or trading whatsoever on ticker symbol GNUS? So what's going on team? It's Ricky with Techbit Solutions and we've been getting this question asked a lot since it's a very trendy specific stuff. In this video, I'm not gonna try to convince you not to trade something that you potentially see valid. One of the things that I first wanna start off with saying is we are all wired in different ways and as long as I continue to have this YouTube channel, I will continue to annoy you with the same phrase because it's true. Just because I don't see value in something doesn't mean that you shouldn't. And I do not see value in trading penny stocks, but I know people can make money doing anything. You have to get that through your head. I don't wanna be like a very opinionated uh, investing YouTuber that only thinks you can make money long-term. Uh, trading and investing are two completely different things. I understand that. Can money be made trading penny stocks? Yes. Can you do it consistently? That's a different question. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the risk with trading something like ticker symbol GNUS. I really hope that you learned something new. Feel free to share this video with someone that you think really needs it. It's not even just focusing about ticker symbol GNUS, but it's about penny stocks, and not even penny stocks, but pump and dumps in general. Penny stocks, yeah, can perform well over a long period of time in a very rare circumstances. That is completely different than a pump and dump. A pump and dump is when there's obvious manipulation happening and it causes there to be an increase in the overall price. So this is what we have back here. I wanna talk about the risk slash reward. First of all, you have to have experience to understand what it is that you are doing. So this morning I noticed a lot of people were talking about ticker symbol GNUS within our free Discord chat. And one of the things that first came to my attention is it continues to get halted because it continues to push very aggressively within a very short period of time. You have to understand that that comes at a great form of risk. Since April, the end of April towards the beginning of March, it is up 4,200%. You guys can you know, look at the 180 day chart. It is unreal. What I want you to pay attention to, it's its volume. It's volume in the beginning of April towards its volume from when the actual marketing and manipulation began to happen. If, if you don't think it's a pump and dump, just check that out. You can, you can believe whatever it is that you want to of, of how amazing this company is, all I know is that this stock is being manipulated. Just like DRYS, just like ACB, right? And just like TOPS. There's so many out there that have a lot of hype within a very short period of time because they're being pumped. And once either the demand falls out or it's just not as great as it was before, guess what? It sells off, it corrects itself and continues to sell off for the life until it gets delisted off of the public exchange. So the risk slash reward, you need to understand that when you, at least with the approach that I take is you need to make sure that your upside outweighs your downside. And there's no question that when ticker symbol GNUS was trading at $11.63, whatever it was trading at, for you to say that, hey, I think that this might be a good investment or hey, I think that this might be a good time to buy. Like, I just don't know what goes through your mind. Yeah, it might be making you money before. Great, so be it. You need to understand how these work. And when people try to convince you with the idea of, look how much money I've made on GNUS within such a short period of time, and look where it's at right now. You know, it's up on the day, it's up on the week, and it's up on the overall month. And then they show you the profits. You should never be convinced on where you should put your money regardless if it's trading or regardless if it's investing. You need to understand, and not just how much money you can make, but asking the question, how much money you can lose. Just think about this. When have you ever heard me say, I trade you guys and you guys all the time. I have never, nor will I ever, encourage anyone to trade you guys or DGAS. I obviously talk about it. I talk about it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, which one's bullish, which one's bearish. But at the end of the day, you should never be convinced based off of someone's opinion where you should put your money. And there's a big difference from, you know, I have no issue people talking about ticker symbol GNUS within our chat. When there's transactions happening, obviously money is being made somewhere. The issue that I have is when people try to convince you that, hey, this is an unbelievable stock. These are all the reasons you should invest in it. You should not be convinced. You should understand what it is that you're getting yourself into and your intention behind it. That's the whole point of this video. You need to understand how a pump and dump works. Within a very short period of time, there's manipulation. You can tell that with the volume itself. Beginning of April, no volume. 
It was trading at whatever it was trading at, $1 or something like that. End of April, volume 10, 100x. And ever since then, it's just been skyrocketing. It's this domino effect, right? There's obvious manipulation. I don't know what news, I don't know what it is that's being shared. All I know is it's only a matter of time for this hype and this demand and this manipulation to peak. And then after that, guess what happens? It corrects itself and just like DRYS, just like ACB and just like TOPS and all the other pump and dumps, that correct themselves in price and continue to bleed. So what I wanna make sure you understand is the risk to reward, is every single time that you take a position on ticker symbol GNUS or any pump and dump, do, does the upside outweigh the downside? And if there's a consistent enough pattern, I see why people are trying to day trade it. Like my issue is not that itself. My issue is for the beginner traders that have no experience, that have no form of risk management and you are encouraging them to trade something that, of course, anyone can make money doing anything. Like that's not the point. It's do you understand what you're doing? Where are you going to sell? If, if you're just trying to ride the wave and you have no plan whatsoever, where I plan to sell, where I plan to cut losses, if you have no form of risk management, in my opinion, and it's just that, you are not ready to trade in general, yet alone a pump and dump. When it comes down to accept the truth, you just have to understand that there's nothing wrong with taking advantage of an opportunity, right? Obviously, GNUS, as of right now, has been bullish. But like we've said before, every opportunity comes with great responsibility. And if something comes at a great reward, it probably comes at a great form of risk, no question about it. And I wanna give you a perfect example. Correct, it is up 4,200% since the end of April. Today alone, it hit 180 day highs, it hit highs of like 1163, 1173, I'm not too sure, and it dropped below in one hour, $5. Think about this, you are someone that's getting pumped up because of how much money you think that you're gonna be making off of GNUS, people are showing you their profits, you jump on into it not knowing what you're doing because you're just hoping it continues to push up and you have no intention to either sell or to cut losses because you have no idea of what is actually happening. It gets halted and it got halted multiple times, meaning that trading is paused on this specific stock and after 10 to 15 minutes when it's resumed, it begins to drop. And in one hour, after three to four halts, it drops over 60%. Think about that. In one hour losing 60%. But yes, it is up 4,200. And yes, it did drop 62% in one hour. So I'm not here to tell you you can't make money off of trading penny stocks. You can make money off of anything. That's not the point. The point is, do you understand what you are trading enough, not because someone told you to, not because someone tried to convince you, not because someone showed you their profits and that you should do it too. Do you understand the risk involved behind that trade and are you educated enough to have a plan when it comes down to taking advantage of this specific opportunity? That's, that's all I'm asking you. That's all I'm trying to encourage you to do. Not what to trade, I don't care what you trade. You put your money where you see value in but do yourself a favor and have a plan. It's not with a specific strategy that I uh, hope that you end up being successful in, it's that there's no question that it takes time to learn how to trade in every niche within the market. Trading ETFs, trading penny stocks, momentum stocks, all of that. It all comes at some form of risk. So if you are someone that is just getting started and you have a focus on penny stocks and they're selling on the, on the idea that, hey, it's up 4,000, it's up 2,000%, also understand that it also did drop 62% in one hour today. So make sure that they don't forget to tell you that. And the reason that I'm making this video is uh, simply because I wanna make sure that we remind our beginner traders the risk involved when it comes down to taking advantage of every opportunity. I'm someone that is you know, proactively trading triple leverage ETFs. I run the largest YouTube channel in the world for those who day trade in the stock market and never have I ever and never will I ever encourage anyone to trade what it is that I trade because they do not have the understanding of 
What comes with taking advantage of an opportunity, especially with a triple leverage ETF? I don't hold these overnight, I day trade them. I have a set list of criteria of knowing when to buy, knowing when to sell, and knowing when to cut losses. I am self-sufficient in what I do. And that's my goal for each and every single one of you. It's not to have to copy other people just because they made money. It's not to try to copy me because, hey, you know, Ricky makes money trading off of you guys and D guys, so can I? That's not the point. The point is, can you understand something well enough on your own to do it on your own? The goal is to be self-sufficient, never to be told what to do. If you can't take time to learn it yourself, then in my opinion, you shouldn't be doing it at all. That simple. And the reason that I'm sharing my experience with you is, again, this is simply my experience, but I did not work well with lower cap stocks, especially when they're being pumped. They're very short-lived, there's a lot of hype behind them, and right when you think that you're on top of the world, the hype dies out, there's huge corrections, and guess what? You not only give back all the profits that you made, but a little bit more on top of that. It is upsetting, it is just something that I found myself not to work well with. It's not something that I'm ever gonna try to preach that like, hey, you can't make money trading off of penny stocks. I know you can make money off of anything, but can you do it consistently? That's my challenge to you. How are you going to find these pump and dumps consistently? How are you going to manage your risk consistently? And how are you going to lock in profits consistently? If you have an approach that works well for you, all power to you. But if you're someone that's been obviously taking a couple hits because your risk management is not in place, because it moves too quick, because you get caught in the very peak of this overall manipulation, then guess what? Just like I learned myself is I found a different niche, something I work a little bit better with. I'm not saying ETFs are at all for you. I know a lot of people don't work well with ETFs. Take time to learn more about niches within the market that work well for you. There's not one perfect way. There are many different ways on how you can still get that same end result. And of course, that's something that we're all working towards of making a profit. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. I really hope that I earned your thumbs up. Again, all this video is, it's nothing against penny stocks, it's nothing against pump and dumps, but it's simply reminding, especially our beginner viewers, how important it is to understand what it is that you are doing and the risk involved when you decide to take a trade. I really hope that you learned something new and don't forget to stay connected. Like I said, we do run the largest Facebook group in the world for those who day trade in the stock market and that's that first link down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.